For starters, it has done the opposite of shrink with a wheelbase that's a full 2 inches longer than that of the old Traverse and incremental updates in length, width, and height. The Traverse is a size XL to the Acadia L. It's the biggest crossover in a big class and its size pays dividends inside. Even with the third row seat raised there's a generous 23 cubic feet of cargo space in back, enough to accommodate six carry-on suitcases in our testing. Two more than the similarly gargantuan Atlas. We can't quite proclaim the Traverse's third row to be as accommodating as the Volkswagen's, though, because Chevrolet has insisted on wedging a third seating position in there, stuffing the Chevy full of seven passengers forces one unlucky occupant to inhabit the uncomfortable third row middle seat, whereas the Volkswagen's three seat second row and two seat third row apportion the available space better. For those who place carpooling for sports teams at the top of their priority lists, the Traverse's ace up its sleeve is the available eight seat configuration that swaps out our test car's second row captain's chairs for a three seat bench, unfortunately. It's available only on lower trim levels with cloth seats and less equipment. Speaking of equipment, our top trim Traverse High Country test car had it all, as it ought to, considering its steep asking price of $52.995, like GMC's Denali trim level. The High Country is aimed at raising transaction prices and profit margins and comes fully loaded with...